Hi everyone. How are you all? I hope you're doing very well today. I'm doing this little um, review today on three products that um, I wanted to try out and see how well they work. The first is the um, Urban Decay Primer Potion. I've heard a lot about that and I wanted to try it. Usually I use MAC Prep and Prime. Prep and Prime. But today I went on and um, got the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I have that under my shadow. My shadow is by MAC. And by the way, if you like my look, I just finished a tutorial on it. Um, it's a rainbow eyeshadow tutorial. So hopefully you can check that out if you like it and you can see how it's done and see all the specifics of what I'm wearing and everything. But underneath it, I have the Urban Decay Primer Potion, as I said, and it's really great. I wanted to try it and see if it was, you know, I noticed everyone was using it. I wanted to see if it was as great as it, you know, seems. So I really like it. As you can see, the colors are popping. And with me, I have dry skin, so I'm usually, the thing I hate about wearing eyeshadow is if I don't have a good enough, um, base, then I feel like when I put the shadow on, my eyelids look dry, like kind of chalky with the eyeshadow on, and then I just end up taking it off, even if it was a really good job. Um, so I like to use creamy um, eyeshadow bases usually. I've been using, if you've seen some of my other tutorials, um, MAC Prep and Prime, and with that, um, it worked pretty well, but I wanted something different, kind of better, um, or at least a really nice alternative. So I'm always searching for makeup that's better <laughs> if it's not perfect. So I went out and, like I said, I have this Urban Decay Primer Potion on, just the regular one, and it works great. So um, really all you need is just a little bit. And... Um, like a little more than this pretty much all over the lid goes a long way and um, the colors pop and I don't have that um, chalky little effect and then also I have um, the second thing that I wanted to try out that I heard a lot of good reviews about was the um, makeup forever foundation and I have a number um, my number is like 177, I believe. And this right here works really well. I actually already have it all over my face. And actually, I really do have some NARS on up under, but on top of it, I'm, I I put it on. Um, I was just doing some experimenting and end up doing a tutorial. So I'll just put a little more on so you can see how it blends. See, I just put that in there and just rub it in some. And you can see, it really does just blend right into my skin. It's, it's my color, and it looks really natural, and um, feels good. You know, one thing, I won't name names, but when I wear some foundations that give me really good coverage, I feel so heavy, and feels like I'm wearing it. And you know what, I just noticed that I don't even feel that I'm wearing this. So that's another great thing about this um, Makeup Forever um, foundation is that it really feels weightless and airy, like, I just wonder if it would come off. <laughs> but it feels um, really good, and it looks great, um, great coverage, even even up my skin tone pretty well. Um, I think it's great for photos and video and um, just for even in person, you know, it looks natural and you don't get that she's made up look <laughs> which I get from some foundations so I actually do love it and then I have the third item that I want to try out that I heard a lot about is the um, high beam my benefit um, this I'm wearing under my eyes around here I wanted that high def high beam look so it's right around here and then right around here and I just put some on my finger and I really have enough on but I'll just put a little bit more on just so you can see how it um, works I just put some here and actually I put it right up under my eye oh I meant to put a little bit on this stuff goes a long way looks like I'm putting a lot more on 
but I just kind of massage it in really fast like this little tapping motion I have brushes but I just like this and then kind of touch it up with the brush in the end but as you can see I may have just added too much in the um blend that out how's that well I didn't really need to show you guys it <laughs> but I think it's still you know still working but one thing I would say is don't go overboard with it because if you do then it starts to look a little white but otherwise um with the light when the light hits it you know it gives you that high beam effect that high depth look and so I like it for that so I really do like the high beam um, I've been wanting something lighter I've tried using a couple of shades lighter a couple of shades or one shade lighter um, concealer to get that lighter effect look you know a lot of celebrities wear it um, Tyra Banks not necessarily these products but that high um, lighter look up under the eyes um, you know Beyonce and a lot of other people so you know I've been wanting to try it with this high beam product that I heard about like I said I was using the concealer and it gives you know it gives a nice look and sometimes you can use a lighter foundation but the high beam is nice because you know you just put it on just like I did you just tap it on and it instantly gives you that lighter high um, high def like lighter look where your eyes are brighter and they're really popping because you can see the eyes are popping from the shadow being so eye-catching and bright and hopefully pretty um, to you but now under the eyes also they're lighter so it's really bringing out my face and all of this area so I like that so um hope you guys um, think that this little review was beneficial um, those three products are really um, you know great so they're very they're actually buzzworthy and I'm glad that um, I went and tried them out and I will definitely be using them from now on and in my future videos so um, hope you guys like this um, review and you appreciate it and able to use it and if you want to go try out one of those three products I would say you know they work for me so you know maybe you never know you might like them and also um, if you like the look that I'm wearing um, then you can also check out the tutorial that I did on the rainbow eyeshadow so thanks guys for watching bye